sorry I got cut off. These videos are limited to five minutes, and that's okay because you probably need some time to digest that anyways. But it, it, the bottom line is the last step here is simply to take uh, the, the previous principal balance, right, which equals this, plus the payment that you made, that's your new principal balance. You just take that formula, and you drag it down, and there you go. You can see how your principal balance is declining over time. And then if you want, you can just keep, you can drag that all the way down to uh, 360, uh, you know, to see how your amortization table works. The, the kind of fun thing about Excel, as you probably already know, is you can change the loan amounts and so forth to do uh, different calculations. So if you say, well, what if I, you know, did 3.875%, whoops, I've got to increase my decimal here. 3.875% and I did a 20 year fixed. Well, there you go. That shows you how much, you know, faster you can start paying things off. Now, in the next step, I'm going to show you if you make extra payments towards your principal, how you can accelerate uh, your principal payoff and how Excel can help you uh, calculate that as well. Okay, so th what we're going to do here, to, in order to do that, is we're going to take our principal balance uh, column. We're just going to drag it over one. Nothing should change. And we're going to put extra payment. All right? Extra payment. So let's assume that in period two, we're going to make uh, another $500 payment. We want to express that as a negative. And again, if you uh, want to get um, nerdy like me, you can, you know, make it a number and all that, but it's not, not critical for the exercise. And let's say that, you know, every two payments, you make an extra $500 payment. Okay, how what, what's going to happen to your loan amount? I'll just do a few here. Well, we want to go ahead and change our formula now uh, because we've got extra payments. So now, um, remember our, our formula here is B3 plus D10. Now we want it to, to be also plus E10. Okay, whatever our extra payment is there, we're going to take that formula and we're going to drag that puppy down. I might be somewhat outside of my video area, so forgive me, but uh, you just take it, drag that down, and you can see, oops, what did I do wrong there? Well, you know what? This is not a bad thing that have happened. When you do something like that, you undo it. That's the nice thing about Excel. So why don't we, let's not start, oh, that's why, because we did our, our principle, it's being figured off of this cell, we don't want that. So we want to come down to, to this one. Uh, here and change the formula here. So here we're going to say plus our extra payment of 500. Take our little thing, drag it down, and you can see how it's accelerating um, the pay down of our principal. And again, if we were to extend that all the way down to 360 and play with these extra payments, you could see how fast you'll accelerate the payment of your loan. Um, you know, if you put 500 bucks a month in, you know, what, where would you be? I went ahead and I dragged um, all these uh, columns down so that we could kind of see how the amortization schedule is working. And I just want to show you sort of another example of how we might use this. So let's just say that we want to do um, extra payment uh, sort of here. And we're going to make, uh, you know, $350 extra payment um, every, every month starting right here. We would just say equals 350, or equals this B6, right? And again, we're going to put our little dollar signs um, in front so that it knows that when I drag, not to change it. In fact, what I can do is just take this and double click. Oh, it's not liking that. I thought I could do it. It's not doing it. Fine. I'll just drag it all the way down. Dragging, dragging. Don't worry, this video is almost over. We'll go all the way down to 360, even though this is a 240-month period, I think, that we typed in. Scroll back up. And according to this, if we have $350,000 loan, 3.875, 20 are fixed, and we make $350 extra payments every month, you scroll down, and let's see where does it go to zero. Right there. The last pay period would be 204. So 204 divided by 12, whatever that number is. So 4 divided by 12, you pay off in 17 years instead of 20. So this is how you can look at the, the impact of extra payments on your own and play with the numbers.